allow me to introduce you to my second brain, Evernote. Evernote is my secret weapon. It is the tool that I use every single day to organize my life, my notes, my tasks, my ideas, and my work. As someone that has ADHD, keeping my life organized is really challenging and Evernote is the only task and note management system I've ever found that works well for me. So in today's video, I'm gonna go through my Evernote and how I use it. I'm gonna show you what types of notes that I keep, how this integrates into my tasks and my day-to-day -day workflow, how I organize all of my different notebooks, and then how you can do a little bit of the same yourself. So without any further ado, let's dive in to Evernote. So when it comes to using Evernote in my day-to-day -day life, one of the things that I use almost every single day are the tasks. Evernote's task system is really, really easy, and one of the best things is it links instantly across my work computer, my phone, and my home desktop. The task system is really simple. All I have to do is type out the new task that I want to add to my task list, enter it in, and the task is automatically added in and shared across my devices. Now every single day, I can look at my task list, and as I finish a task, I can check that off the list, and it will check off across all my different devices. I found this really, really helpful whenever I'm balancing both work, home, and personal tasks. There's a ton of other ways to play with tasks, so including things like linking it to your calendar, setting due dates, etc. But really, I just use it for the most basic version of setting tasks and checking them off a universal list. Now, Evernote is a note-taking system. Its primary feature and benefit revolves around taking notes and entering those notes into Evernote. And usually, I do that with my phone. Now, there are tons of different types of notes that you can take using Evernote. To take a note, you simply press this new note button and you can see some of the types of notes that are available for you off of a button press, such as a camera, a sketch, an attachment or audio, as well as the ability to pull up a full note. Within this note, there's a ton of different features that you can do. Usually what I'll just do is write in whatever I'm thinking inside of the title and call it a day there. But they also have templates where you can bring on different templates that are set up such as, you know, calendars, journaling, uh, you know, different spreadsheets, things like that. But once you have left a note, how I have this set up is it goes to an inbox and that collects all the different notes that I'm creating over the course of days and weeks until it comes time to sort them, which I'll show you later. Whether I'm taking a photo, I'm adding in an idea, a quick little note that I type out, adding an attachment, sketching, or just leaving an audio clip, Evernote on my phone is usually how I add all of these notes into the system. But now let's swing over to the computer and I'll show you more examples of these notes and then how I organize them and categorize them in a way that I call my second brain. Here we go, we are on my PC and I'm about to show you my Evernote starting with the home page. So let me decrease my size a little bit. Here is my Evernote home page and this is the same across my PC, my Mac and my phone. This is where all of my Evernote stuff is kept and kind of the home location for all of my different ways that I'll use Evernote. At the top and in this middle section are some popular notes that I use quite frequently or suggested notes. Over on the right hand side are different tasks that I set for myself. So if I make a task on my phone or my computer, it will show up here and I can check them off as needed. Scrolling down a little bit, I have a scratch pad and then I have a note that keeps track of my work. So all my important work notes, I'll put in that one big note. And then scrolling down even further are my shortcuts, which I only have one, and then ways to look through some of the different notes that I capture based off of the type of note that it is. Lastly, on this left-hand side that my face is hiding a little bit are gonna be the different notebooks, and that's how I organize my Evernote, which I'll get to in a minute. But this is my homepage, it's custom to me, and you can come up here and customize it based off of the different kind of widgets that you want, including things like calendars, filter notes, notebooks, etc. But this is how I have mine set up, and it's relatively straightforward, based off of notes, tasks, a scratch pad, and pen note. So the magic of Evernote really comes from the notes that I take. And I showed you how most of the notes that I ever take are really taken on my phone and uploaded there. But I wanna show you examples of some of the notes I've taken over the past few months and what those look like. And I'm gonna go through a few of them with you. So over here, what I'm gonna do is click on my inbox. 
This is the notebook that holds all of the different notes that I end up taking throughout the days and months, and they collect here kind of like a mail inbox or a, a mailbox for email. Okay, so I've zoomed into my notes a little bit, and these are examples of notes. There's 12 here, and I'll be pretty brief on them, but one of my daily notes is a lift log. So, like I said, notes within Evernote are really flexible. Here's an example of almost an Excel file that I've created. It's a table, and this is what I use to log my workouts. Every day that I work out, I'll enter the date, my weight, the focus, the lifts, what I'm lifting, lifting and any notes. And I use this every single day whenever I work out. Another example of a note is for trip planning. So I'm going to Texas in a few weeks and have a note here where I've been planning the trip, things we're gonna do. And this is where I use some of the photo features for my phone and take a picture of my notebook and it scans it in and uploads it right here into my Evernote. I have different notes where I write out podcasts. So here's an example of a script to a podcast that I've written out here in Evernote and use Evernote to organize that similar to a Word document. And here is the note that I use to plan out this video. And here I also have some notes based off of business meetings that I've had. And then one of my favorite ways to use Evernote is to write down those little crazy ideas that you typically would forget, such as quotes or business ideas or something else. So here's some notes kind of like that. There will always be rainy days, so learn to play in the rain. Or a weird crazy idea at, such as why don't we plant more fruit trees? Or the thought I'm changing the term redheads to scarlet tops or the business idea of a toothpaste gun. So all these random little ideas that typically would pop into your head and then get lost to the dark corners of time are now kept into Evernote in a way that can be organized and searched for later. So those are just a few examples of the notes that I have and kind of how I'm using Evernote. And what I will do is take these notes and then sort them. So once you've written down a ton of different notes within Evernote, now it's time to sort your notes. And this is where no notebooks come in. And I have these organized into a few different stacks of notebooks. One is my personal stack of notebooks that contains all the things related to my personal life. I have a content related stack of notebooks that contains the notebooks and notes of everything content. I also have a work stack and then a various projects stack. But whenever I'm looking at my inbox, what I can do is now sort these individual notes into notebooks so that I can start to categorize different ideas and concepts away into places where they'll be organized and I can find them later. For example, I can take this Evernote video and throw it into my YouTube notebook. I can also take my Skills to a Happy Life cooking podcast and throw that into my podcast stack. I can take this quote that I made, there will always be rainy days, learn to play in the rain, and put this into my quotes notebook. Why don't we plant more fruit trees? I'm gonna drop it into my notebook for questions. And I can take toothpaste gun and I can put that in the business ideas. So this is kind of how you might come through and take all the notes that you've taken over the past week or day or month and categorize them into the places where they're organized best for you. Now that I've shown you a little bit about how I organize things, I wanted to show you a little bit about the search feature, which makes this so magical. And so you can search really, really well with Evernote. Whenever I'm ready to search, I'm gonna come up to the search bar, and let's just say I wanna find that, that note I just filed away. So I'll type in redhead. From there, it brought up the search of redheads to scarlet tops, and it found that for me. You can also notice that it pulled every single note that has either the word red or heads in it. An awesome little feature here is you can search directly for, through documents you've uploaded. So for example, I searched the word Austin here because I'm going to Austin, Texas, and within this note, I can scroll down and see that it identified the handwritten word Austin within my handwriting that I uploaded from my journal, which is absolutely crazy and my handwriting is disgusting. I'll also try searching for a recipe. Let's say I had a great recipe and now I can come through and find all the examples of recipes that I had in here. So hopefully that was a good example of how I use Evernote. It has been one of the most powerful tools I have ever used and it's been the only note-taking system I've been able to stick to. Over the past two years, I've taken over 700 different notes 
And for someone that has mild ADHD, it has been an amazing way to actually get my life organized. The key for Evernote with me is the ability to take a note on my phone as quick as I possibly can and then forget about it. Then whenever I have time later, I'm at work or I'm ready to sit down and dig through my notes and kind of sort out my life, I can sit down, they're all in one place and I can start to categorize everything so that there's organized permanence. So I hope you enjoyed this short video about Evernote. If you have any questions or wanna see anything else related to how I'm setting up my Evernote or how I use it, feel free to leave a comment down below. Consider giving this video a like or subscribing to the channel if you wanna see more. It really means a lot to me. If you wanna see additional content, you can find my Instagram at I'm.the.ryan or my website, realwithryan.com. But I hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, thank you for keeping it real with Ryan.